So let's be real for one minute. There's one burning question that cuts to the heart and soul of every collector. What do I do with all this crap? Hey, if you enjoy what I do, please hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell to receive notices next time I post a video. So, in all seriousness, what to do with all these accessories is a problem for collectors. Not only do we have space consideration for actually displaying them, but with I've got 16 statues currently, I think, and a bunch more coming, where do I put all this stuff? So, being where I live, I don't want to store the pieces in the boxes which are in my attic because our summers get to about 100 degrees and there's no telling how hot those attics are and I don't know what type of damage it would do to some very valuable pieces so I got to thinking I was like well why don't I do like the styrofoam boxes and cut out segments and put them in a cabinet form and I got to think I was like well I need a cabinet like those toolboxes you see at Home Depot and Lowe's and I was like why don't I get one of those? So joining you today from not normal location, uh, not even the kitchen table, but my closet. So got the drawer here. They fully extend out. So excellent. I can get all the way. The back of the drawer is right there. I didn't really trust. I don't know the material there if it would stain or come off on the uh, statue. So I'm not trusting it. So piece of one inch foam first, cut to, to fit. Uh, I put my ugly jagged cuts to the back. They kind of smush in anyway, but you can see extremely hard to cut this stuff neatly. Like so. And the one and two equals perfect three inches there. Has a little bit of clearance here. You need to kind of plot out exactly what you have and where you want them to go before you start uh, cutting. All right, so when you get all done, fringe benefits are you've got, uh, if you're a Chicago Bears fan, you got to, you know, go Bears. Uh, Padded toilet seat, that's nice. Uh, airplane, so fringe benefits, cool. So I've cut all the way through the foam, like so, and then I've got my other one inch pad underneath that. And I'll clean this up, it's a little ratty. I've still got my uh, Sharpie on there, but for demo purposes, showing the first one. And then boom, that sets just like so. And you want to look and make sure I've got at least uh, probably a half to a quarter inch there. So that's perfect. Not a problem at all. Setting down nicely. Boom. First piece in. You have to think about also not only what you're doing at this time, but if you swap them up, does your space, does your um, drawer allow for various change out? You know, the, you may have an entirely different uh, on this Venom, if you've seen my review video, uh, these bent arms are, you know, thick here and the other ones are long and extended here. Depth, the depth is going to be about the same. A little bit fatter on this one, but pretty good real estate taken up on the extension of this one. So, I literally am thinking about this as I'm filming. I don't know what I'm going to do here. So, so what I could do is draw the outline of this and then put... like this, what I could do is the outline of this and then flare this at the bottom. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. So when you finish with this, you've got another bonus part. I mean, how good can it get? The packaging says that this is two inch foam and confirmation by tape measure. So 
if I had laid this down, I would have seen that this piece is three and a quarter. So, stupid me, I would have known right off the bat that's not going to fit in there. And there's basically no way to make it fit in there. So what that means is, is I'm going to abandon this going into this drawer completely. Okay, so I just had a thought. I think I just... Yeah, I just had an idea. So I put my one inch piece in here. I literally have laid the, so in other words, there's gonna be another layer on this that I'm gonna cut out, but here's the way that I can test if this works before I ever cut and screw up this one. This is, this is an alternate to measuring everything out. Put your pieces on the first layer, whatever you're doing, and does the drawer close without bumping them. I already tested it, so. I got down to see, you know, that everything was clear, and, and it does. So now I know by that, if I cut them out, I'm good. So now I've got a hole in my expensive foam. What do I do? Okay, just had a whole nother change of plans, thoughts, direction. So I got to thinking about what's the coolest, in general, what's the coolest thing about the uh, statues that we collect, and that's the head sculpts, you know, the variations there. So, I got to thinking, why don't I make this top drawer, since it's so large, nothing but a head sculpt drawer? And I was like, well, I've already cut this. Well, this is a three inch drawer, and three doors down, hey, bam, um, is actually a three inch drawer also. So all I have to do is cut this section right here, move Scorpion down there, just like that, at this new piece that all the head sculpts are going to go in and I move scorpion down here so I use that same piece that I had miscut in the top there and then I just used a second two inch piece and cut some of this out of it Okay, it's really going well. Um, I like this a lot better than my original attack plan. Big thumbs up. Uh, started one way and changed plan. So what, whatever you envision to start with may or may not be the way that you end up going. If you get stuck on something and you can't figure it out, drink more margaritas. It always helps to clear up the thought process. Or maybe you just don't care quite as much as you cared before. So, anyway, it helps. <laughs> so that many head sculpts and still have, what, 60% left there. Nothing in here yet. Nothing in here yet. Those are two 2-inch two drawers. The 3-inch. Yeah, none of these three, which is two twos and a 3-inch. Put the larger Venom in here and the larger Tony uh, Stark uh, Darren Man uh, alternate body. I can go a little deeper with that because that's four inches of foam there whenever I get ready to do that. Nothing in this drawer yet. Scorpion was moved to here. Nothing. Oh, you know, excuse me. So I've got my arms here for Wolverine and Sandman. As you can see, I've I have 16 statues, so that's the accessories for 16 statues, and they're all contained, and plenty of room to expand. So you may be thinking to yourself, well, great, you spent $400 on a toolbox that's huge, and I don't have the space for that. So I got to thinking about what some other alternatives. My wife has this cabinet in her closet that has sliding drawers. And as you can see, it's not $400, it's a little bit over a hundred and it would work quite well. Another alternative that I thought of was these uh, Rubbermaid type uh, storage containers that you see at Home Depot and Lowe's, which as you can see here are quite cheap, under $10. The thinner ones like this are very durable and well constructed. And I feel you could stack several on top of each other with no problems. 
So as you can see here, I just piece foam together. You don't have to be real precise with it. Latch them up, find a space in your closet. Another happy customer. I love it when a plan comes together. So I hope you enjoyed the video today. I hope it inspired some ideas, you know, that you might uh, borrow. If you have anything better, leave it in the comments below so others can read and uh, maybe they might uh, enjoy what you have to say. So if you enjoy this style video, not just reviews, uh, leave a comment also. Yay or nay. Hey man, do more of this. I like this. Um, just give me some feedback. Hit the like button, subscribe, ding that notification bell, and you'll receive notices whenever I release the next video. Until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.